learn about frictional force. In unit 1, you have learnt how important frictional force is in our daily life. This class, we will learn about types of frictional force and force should act on it. Let us observe the forces acting on the book placed on the table. W and N are acting in the vertical direction, capital F and small f are acting on the horizontal direction. There are two forces acting on the book in vertical gravitational force acting on the book in the downward direction or it is the weight of the book. It is represented by capital W. Second, the normal force acting on the book due to the surface. It is represented by capital N. It is acting upwards. In the vertical direction, there is no motion. Thus, it is 0. W minus N is equal to 0 or W is equal to N. Hence, the weight of the book is equal to the normal force. Forces acting on the book at rest. The forces acting on the book at rest. The weight W acting downwards in the vertical direction, the normal reactive force acting upwards in the vertical in the horizontal direction, the applied force F and in the opposite direction, there is a frictional force, resultant force is equal to 0. The speed gradually decreases when the book is moving in the horizontal direction with respect to the surface. Now, from the activities we have observed so far, let us define the frictional force. Frictional force, the force which opposes the relative motion of two surfaces of bodies in contact is called frictional force. Now, let us know about the types of frictional force in the wheels of the cycle and the surface of the floor. Let us now look into the factors affecting friction. The first one is effect of nature of surface on frictional force. Observe this activity. A ball, a bead, two cylindrical objects are moving through an inclined plane. What did you observe in this activity? Which object travelled long distance? Which object travelled small distance? Surfaces though appear to be smooth perfect planes consist of small irregularities. Such kind of surfaces are called irregular surfaces. Because of these, let us observe the activity. A spring balance is tightly secured to a glass slab the surface, the horizontal surface of the glass slab is in contact with the table. Now, the spring balance is pulled, observe the force that is applied on the glass slab. What happens if the spring balance is pulled with force? How the left? And in the opposite direction, there is a frictional force acting denoted by small f. Let us look at glass slab with lesser surface of contact. The spring balance is secured with a string to the glass slab with lesser surface area of contact. And a muscular force is to pull the spring balance and thereby the glass slab with lesser surface of contact. Observe the force applied. What changes did you observe in static friction which change in the area of contact? We observe that 
in both the situations without any relation to the area of contact the frictional force is same. Thus, frictional force is not dependent on area of contact. Now, children till now we have looked into two aspects. The first one the nature of surface is dependent of the frictional force. The second one the area of contact is independent of the frictional force. Now, let us look at the effect of normal force on friction. If a glass slab is placed over another glass slab, the force between the glass slabs increases. Therefore, frictional force is proportional to normal force. Sliding friction. Sliding friction comes into play when the surface of one object moves relative to the surface of another object. Sliding, sliding means movement. Surface of one object moves, moves or slides relative to the surface of another object. Let us look into few examples. A person is walking on the wetland. And the person is walking carefully. He is using force to pull his legs from the wet mud. Observe the video carefully. This is our daily practice when we go through such a wet land. He is trying to balance himself when he is walking through this wet land. Did you ever happen to feel so? He is going to slip, but he is trying to balance. Observe this video carefully. The van is trying to pass through the hill. There is a smooth surface and the van is trying to pass through that. The driver is applying more speed to pass through that smooth hill. And now the horse is also trying to apply more force to pass through that smooth hill. Not hold objects in our hand if there is no friction. Really, does friction produce heat? Let us look through this small activity. You might have observed in a welding shop during the sharpening of metals sparks are produced. Sparks are produced during the sharpening of metals. Let us do a simple activity. It is a match box. A match stick is taken out and it is striked to the rough surface of the match box. What did you observe? Activity once again, the match stick is striked to the rough surface of the match box. The fire is ignited. See, once again when you, you strike your finger to the head of the match stick, fire is produced. What did you observe when the hands are rubbed together? What did you observe when match stick strikes the rough surface of the match box? Because of friction, the heat between the surfaces increases. Because of this, match stick burns and heat is produced between the hands being rubbed. Now, children, we have observed of 
either body the friction offered is called rolling friction principle of ball bearing all of you look at this spare part of a machine the ball bearings are used in this spare part that is one ball bearing this is another second lid try to rotate are you able to rotate it properly see the activity now place a few marbles in the second lid and put the first lid over it now try to rotate see how easily the rotation is happening and the inside marbles can be treated as ball bearings let us try to understand and apply the principle of ball bearings once again yes what is it what are you seeing it is a park and the children are moving and the children are looking very happy because they are able to rotate easily a ball bearing is placed in the center axis and the children are able to move with a slight push the ride is made happy because there is a smooth rotation because of ball bearings to reduce the friction between the rotating parts of the machine tools ball bearings are used now children let us know about fluid friction what do you mean by fluids liquids and gases together are called fluids let us know what is fluid friction let us do an activity to observe fluid friction take a glass of water and stir it with a spoon what is happening the water is rotating about an axis observe carefully the whirling of water stopped the friction or friction offered between the glass surface and the liquid layers that are whirling around that are rotating around there is a friction between the glass surface and the layers of the liquid that are whirling around this is called fluid friction we can see this fluid friction when a boat is moving in water fluid friction is exerted by fluids we mean that called fluids now when we see an aeroplane going in air there is a fluid friction that is present when a jet plane passes through air there is fluid friction exerted this fluid friction exerted is called as drag water and other liquids exert force of friction when objects move through them as we discussed earlier gases and liquids together are called fluids fluids exert force of friction on objects in motion through them this frictional force exerted by fluids is called drag that the normal force and the nature of surface in contact let us summarize the two types of frictional force the first one is static friction static friction is the friction that comes into play when the surfaces of the objects are at rest relative to each other let us look into the second type of friction sliding friction sliding friction is the friction that comes into play when the of surface of one object moves relative to the surface of another object i have learned about frictional force dependent on the nature of surface and normal in this session we have learned about types of friction and the factors affecting friction in the next session we will learn more about friction thank you
థైరాయిడ్మతలు థైరాయిడ్ గ్రంథి మెడ ప్రాంతంలో ఉంటుంది ఇది 